Well, I went to do a little brush hogging this morning and wasn't very successful at it. The uh, brush hog didn't seem to want to act right. So I thought maybe the blades were folded back and took a little look and drive lines basically the, the clutch is um, is fried on it. You know, I work on a lot of stuff for myself and sometimes other people. And um, one of the nice things about YouTube is if you don't have a repair manual, you can look at stuff and people will share their experiences. So for the benefit of anybody that has a modern manufacturing sunshine cutter or a brush hog or similar with a slip clutch, um, you know, your tractor PTO drives your drive line back to your gearbox on your uh, on your brush hog right Toby right Toby and here's the drive line with the tractor end and the slip clutch end and this is your clutch that goes up against your your gearbox and I never really took one of these apart but it's pretty simple you got a series of bolts and springs um, nine of them that hold these together and once you tear your bolts your uh, bolts with your spring clutch you get a, get a little plate in there and a backing friction and a clutch which now you see my problem and then your hub that's splined to your input on the gearbox with the I guess that's metal on metal on one side just kind of rides and it's got a little collar in there and the other side is your it's your friction surface and uh, I got a lot of hours on this brush hog so not really too disappointed or upset just normal wear then uh, collar there looks like it's wearing pretty good so no brush hogging for today I should be able to go down to the tractor place and just get me another piece of friction material and be back good to go a couple of days and Toby can help right Toby wag your tail mm-hmm